today I'm going to be using Razer Cortex, which I recently found out, and it really helped my laptop a ton. So Razer Cortex has been out for a while now, but I never used it until recently, and I'm surprised by how well it is. This game somehow boosts my Warzone FPS by a decent amount, and if you know Warzone, this game is really, really hard to run, so I was really surprised. And go to boost right here, and as you guys can see, they already selected 6 out of 8 items that will be optimized. These items is really helpful to be optimized, so use the default 6, I mean you can have Explorer or Launch. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I use these six and just click boost now. As you guys can see, after the boost, there is 880 megabytes of RAM release, which is crazy because this RAM could be used for gaming, which is going to help your performance a ton. So the next thing I want to show you guys is system booster right up on the top right here. As you guys can see, this is a system booster for your PC. This is very similar to CC Cleaner, which I showed you guys a ton on my channel before. And all it does is just scan your PC and delete unnecessary files, cleans up your PC, and just makes it run 10 times smoother. So let me do that right now. So once that is done scanning, as you guys can see, there's a lot of things on the bottom that is telling you that it is going to be optimized, like 5.9 gigabytes of 33.9 gigabyte system clean, 39 items that they're going to speed up. So just click optimize once it's done scanning. Once that is done, as you guys can see, it is fully optimized. This basically is CC cleaner, so it has the same results, which is really, really nice. So the last thing I want to show you guys is Booster Prime, which is optimizing a certain game. So let me just take Fortnite for an example. So just click optimize now. And over here, I have it on full performance right here over quality. So I will getting the most FPS possible. This basically just tweaks with your graphic settings, all that stuff, so you can get the best FPS. By doing so, you are losing quality, but your performance will be increased by a ton. If you guys want more of a quality and performance balance, just set this to the middle and just click optimize. As you guys can see on the bottom, it shows you all the stuff that is going to be optimal for this decision. So in this case, I'm going to just go for straight up performance so I can get the most FPS possible. And after that, just click optimize. Right, once this is optimized, it is done and when you get into a game you will see a major difference like your performance and the quality will go down a bit but it really doesn't matter if you want the best performance okay so now we are in a creative looking up we can get around 490 which is really nice looking down we get another 470 so it is pretty stable not gonna lie um as you guys can see the graphics are not as good as uh you know usual since i did optimize for the best performance and lowering my quality but that's fine i guess because you know performance wise is way better so there's not really that much fps drops considering i am pretty much on the lowest settings possible which is really nice i guess but if you really need this fps i consider doing this but if you already have decent fps just go for quality i mean you're probably not going to see your enemies that well with, uh, you know, the worst graphics, but you'll be chilling.
So I'm also going to do the same thing to Warzone, which is a heavy game, like I said. And I'm surprised I can even get 110 FPS on a laptop that's a 1650. So yeah, I'm going to just drag it fully to performance and optimize it. And it would be really, really nice. All right. So over here also says predicted FPS, which is 80 plus minus 10 more FPS after done doing this performance. So we could get a 90 FPS or even more possibly. All right, so in Warzone, we are getting around 70, 85 FPS stable. Oh, yeah, bro. okay, bro, what the fuck, bro? Okay, so yeah, we are getting around 85 to 70. Uh, there's a thing in Warzone where it literally does not pick up audio for recording, so I'm sorry about that. So yeah, overall, the FPS isn't even that high right now. I don't know why, but usually it's just like 90s i'm not sure if it's because i have my vegas open or i'm just like recording but usually when i play i don't rec oh there's a guy right here yeah sit down bro so usually i don't have my recorder open and i do have around 100 or 90 fps right now we're getting around 85 which is still good uh but when i yesterday used the razor cortex for it, it oh shit Oh, I'm, I'm out of here, man. All right, so yeah, when yesterday I used... What the... F bro, how many people are there? All right. So yesterday when I did use Razer Cortex, it was pretty good without recording. So maybe it's just the recording. I'm not sure. 